Well, I, I've noticed the maturity a lot. We, we still are growing, but last year, go, you know, you, 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 go, you see the darkest of times, and you don't, and the people in that locker room are still able to look each other in the eye and know that we're going to all fight together. Nobody walked out of the room, nobody quit. Uh, you, you grow, you mature. And uh, pain is a great teacher. And we, it, was, it was very painful at times last year. We ended on a good note, but it was still very painful. And there's not a Nebraska softball team that ever wants to end the season without being in postseason. And we got a taste of that last year, so I think we're pretty motivated to get back to where we should be. Um, I think it just really helped our confidence level. I know last season it felt really frustrating because we felt like we were working really hard and we were going the extra mile and it just wasn't really paying off. And so to kind of finally see that come into fruition at the end was nice. So it kind of... It gave us that there is a good end result and that there is reason to keep working hard. So I hope it really catalyzes us into this year. Uh, Heidi Folland, I, I actually was out watching high school games and was watching a, a game that was not her team playing, but I caught this athlete out of the corner of my eye, this is a true story, and very athletic in her movements. And I went, who is that kid? And I noticed it was Grand Island High School, so the next day I called the coach and asked about her and he said, well, yeah, she's a great softball player, but she's taking visits to schools for basketball. And I said, would she consider playing softball? And he said, well, if Nebraska's calling, she may. And really that's how it started. And it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a slam dunk right from the start because she loves basketball. And she still loves basketball, but I think she realizes that um, she can be a great softball player. And you know, she finished out last year as a freshman, starting in our uh, starting lineup at third base was a uh, Big 12 Player of the Week as a freshman. First time we'd had a Big 12 Player of the Week, I think for six or seven years, and a freshman to boot. And then she comes out her first weekend and hits her first and second home run as a collegian in her in back-to-back -back at bats. So she's, uh, that athleticism is starting to be developed and come out. Um, from what I've seen, she's gotten a lot more aggressive, and I think she takes a lot better cuts. Um, I'm not a very good judge of this. I don't even hit. but. But yeah, she's a much tougher out, a lot tougher opponent when I'm going up against her life. 